going to lead us to our next matchup, which is Machamp. Um, solid Pokemon. Um, uh -huh, absolutely. Uh, Alan, very boring Pokemon. Like, like it's like one of those like Gen 15. Alan looks like he's pretty powerful. He's at apparently level uh, 870,806. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty high level Pokemon. So we have a Machamp, which doesn't have a level accumulated with it, but a well-known, respected Pokemon. And of course, I you bet know, he wrecks all the gyms around his name. If you ask me. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so we see that we got um, Warlock, Shaman, and Rogue. Hunter, double Hunter band out double again. Double Hunter band. Is it the same kind of mid range? Is that really the only Hunter being played Honestly, right now? Honestly, there's three kinds of Hunter. Apparently, there's a mid range that we saw last game. There's okay. Spell Hunter. Okay. And then there's the Recruit Hunter. Now, how does uh, Spell Hunter play out? Uh, Spell Hunter plays out. Uh, it uses secrets to buff its Spellstone. And Spellstone says for all the secrets you play, you generate basically an extra 3 3 doggo. So you okay. can upgrade it up to two times, and you can summon four three threes on turn five. So you basically That's get a five mana twelve power. I need five points. All right, so we have the uh, mulligan the whole hand. That's what I like. <laughs> we have Shutter Shaman versus uh, Miracle Rogue, okay. and I got a BRB roll back. <laughs> All right, BRB <laughs> roll back. the bathroom, and uh, Tony's gonna take over casting. Tony, inform them of these matchups. You have no idea how they pan out to be. All right, so we got a turn one. I mean, there's a one man in his hand. I don't know what it does, but I think he should play it. Um, he does not. He passes. I don't. I don't know what that one mana does in his hand. The like glacial something or another. But let's see. So we got a one mana two one freezing enemy, as Rob has shouted from the porcelain throne. Um, dang, who that daddy on the right? Oh, you know it's me, Sir Xavier. That's my roommate, by the way, guys, just so you know. <laughs> uh, Tony, tell us how Shutterwalk works, please. Doesn't that, like... Rob says it's a piece of shit. All I know is it somehow makes animation times take, like, 14 minutes and waste an entire turn or something like that. So that's all I really know about Shutter Shutterstock. Shutterstock, the um, stock image company. Um, they made their own card. They actually had to pay a lot of money to get that card into heart. Uh, let's see, Fan of Knives on an empty board. Everyone always likes that. Three mana draw card always feels really good. How's it going there, Rob? <laughs> Kiki's hitting you hard? All right. Uh, let's see. Questing Adventure. It's actually really good to see a card like Questing Adventurer back um, being played. I always really enjoyed that card. And uh, so many rogue decks used to play that. Quest Rogue, or not Quest Rogue, um, but Adventure Rogue. Where you just play as many cards as possible. I guess, in, Rob, didn't uh, Questing Adventurer have played Miracle? Questing Adventurer was in Miracle, correct? Right. Oh, and Gazeton Auctioneer, also in Miracle. So you didn't, man, didn't Gazeton Auctioneer used to be four mana? <laughs> that was the sound oh, of a Jesus. flush. All right, he's on the way back. Gazeton Auctioneer, four mana at one point, right? When it first came out? Something like that. It was... And then they nerfed it, and then they had to nerf it oh, again. Shouldn't have ate that whole waffle. This is Miracle, okay. I yeah. see now from Questing Adventure Auctioneer that did hint me off that it was Miracle. All right, so what we got here. Uh, Miracle Rogue definitely has a slight advantage in this, depending on if the Shaman can rip Hexes and Volcanoes. They're main removals in this particular matchup. Because your Questing Adventures yeah. just can get out of hand. Yeah. So, so, And he's got both, which is pretty strong in the early game if he can't answer it. Yes. So right now, the Shaman's going to want to... If he top decks Volcano right here, the game is over. What, what Gets is a Hex, though. Volcano does 15 damage to everything on the board. What, what, how well, much like overload 15 is damage accumulative. Right, how so, much overload? Uh, two. Oh, okay. wow, that's not bad. No. So he ripped a Hex off the top, which did slow down the questing. He might go ahead and just... Eh, it's probably a Fan of Knives, or if he's really ambitious, he goes questing. No matter what he's daggering, I though, did joke Fan of Knives on nothing, just to draw the card is how you always play it. Sometimes. Never do, yeah, sometimes you just do if you just need the cards. Yeah. Especially if it's been like Emperor Tharzan back in the day and things like that, then sometimes you just... Yeah. Remember uh, Turn 1 Tharzan from Druids? Oh. <laughs> Papa. Never. It's fun. Oh. Like, it's so hard to recover from that. Innervate, Innervate, Coin, Tharzan. But then they'd only be buffing like one card because you used half you your have hand. You a Turn 1 5-5 five, five to I Dancer guess. and it's making... Um... Is and if Tony it sits, your brother it is not is Tony. I've known him uh, since no. elementary school. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> <sighs> Same with Michael. Michael's in chat. Oh, Michael. Although I had him first to be fair. True. It <laughs> looks like my girlfriend and Michael are arguing over me in chat. 
That's what you like to see. That's if you're what a Tony I like. fan. Yeah. So absolutely. he's going with <laughs> wow. He went with the uh, questing adventure, a three mana two two. Definitely a very passive play, but he wants to. He wants to basically go fan and knives into maybe two or three spells next turn. He's pushing for basically lethal next turn. Right. So what? Are Another we... top deck. So he top decked hex to kill the first questing, and now he top decked lightning storm for the potential full clear. Isn't lightning storm two or three or three to four? It's uh, two to three, but if he hero powers and rolls spell power, right. he can do three to four. He's not going to try to hero power to get the spell power. Well, he kills him. everything but the four four anyway. True, and then he can just like uh, clean it up with... Uh, he has something to clean it up with. Oh, he's going to coin and... Who's? Who's to gain... Okay. Armor and destroy weapon. In one armor. I mean, that was like really two sick top decks from... True, Shane. true. That was disgusting. <laughs> so, um... I think Gaz is an auctioneer here doesn't seem good unless he... I don't I know mean, what he would do here. Does he make the trade? This is why Miracle is so hard. There's a lot of decisions to make. It doesn't curve out like another deck. It's a lot of, do I hold my cards for certain situations, things like that. Yeah. Um, do you make subpar plays now to be, make a better play later? later or do, or you, do play... you do you hope you get the cards you need to have a really explosive turn and, and take back tempo, yeah. take back board position? Yeah. So like right now he could go auctioneer four face, or you could go auctioneer trade, or you could just go fan and knives uh Avis. Or you could go Avis dagger. Like there's you know, it's hard to say. I personally kinda like the auctioneer. Um and the reason being is he has to make a move and he has to make it now. If right. he doesn't play the auctioneer, he's just waiting an additional turn to eventually play the auctioneer to combo his spells. Because if he plays it now, he can't deal with it. You have three spells in hand, you know you're drawing. Right. So you gotta have to put it on the board, get the job done, get the cards you need. Make them answer it. Yeah. You need to, like, right now he's looking for a Leroy Cold Blood for game. Granted, you can't play both of those as of, like, now, because you'd have to draw. But still, two cards that you're looking for to finish out games like this against combo decks like Shudder. I love how they're still not, like, a... <laughs> well, but, I mean, they... Blizzard's a small indie company, so right, I mean, right. you have to understand that they, with the, such a limited budget right. and, like, a small They only make, team, what, like, $150 million a quarter. <laughs> with such a small and limited development team and budget, they have to make sure they hold all of their profits for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> because if they didn't do this, they wouldn't be able to give us cup of noodle sponsors right, right. they wouldn't be able to give us non-tournament modes stuff like this i like how we're over like kind of see the cup of noodles in the background right here i couldn't get rid of it <laughs> we're just, being sponsored by the healing right brush now. over it dude the healing brush just the photoshop healing brush okay, wow so. karen he's gonna up oh, still evolving okay i can't say that was worth it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know trading a karen for a two what does that two eight do oh spell power plus yeah four. i mean either way it's getting sapped how much spell power does that give it? Two. Two. When he saps, is it returns as the original creature or is that creature? Just that creature. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can remember. Wow, gets the Avis into a prep fan with the minstrel in hand? Hoggers, boys. He could rip another Avis right here and pull off a two turn kill. Or if he rips Leroy, it's just game. He gets another prep. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just game. Never mind, I, I thought he already attacked with the auctioneer. Dude, he should just do more cards. BM, dude. This yeah. is a tournament. I honestly thought he already attacked the auctioneer. Oh, gotcha. Wow, that was, a, that was a big turn. Like I said, the auctioneer was the right play. Couldn't deal with it, draw a bunch of cards, win game. True. Miracle Rogue. It's always, like, scary to play auctioneer, like, when you have to wait a turn to hope to get value. Like, when you play auctioneer, you kind of, like, you just want that immediate value, you know? Going on to... Ed. There's a little time here. And Malagos Rogue was always one of my favorite rogues. It was, it was like... Hard to play. It was hard to play. And it was fun to win. You hated using your removal because you wanted your eviscerates to do nine damage face, you yeah. know? Your sinister strikes. Your sinister strikes. Oh my god. Your backstabs. Uh, shivs. Backstabs that did zero mana, seven damage. Seven damage to creatures. Just felt so good. Wait, Malagos is, is also one of those. Weird... Alright, we need to replay here. Is this man I, I this looked like a good good prey to the RNG gods chat. This right here is what you like to see if you're a professional tournament player. Uh, if you're not praying, you ain't doing it right. So let's go back to, uh, I mean, he's praying to, right here. The pray to Ben Brode. We're going to see it here just in a second. There it is. Rip Ben Brode. There is the pray to, <laughs> pray to Ben. He's, he's gone from the development scene, yeah. isn't he? That's, that's crazy. He was like. Machamp more like Machoke. Oh, my oh, God. Alex. Oh, with, oh, with the memes. Oh with the my memes. Savage. <laughs> it's funny because it's both hilarious and related to Pokemon. Solid joke, Alex. You get 14 rubles. 
your way. Rubles, not rubles. Yeah, our currency now is either in burritos or Brody bucks. <laughs> Brody bucks, but Absolutely. Brody bucks are it's a high caliber currency. We only give one at a time. Okay, so I can see. He's, okay, he's gonna mull in the five drop. Three three drops in a hand never feel very good. But well, he's running um. Uh, he's can't even think of the deck right now. Spiteful Druid. Spiteful so Druid. basically, runs only two spells in the whole deck, two ultimate infestations, and then Spiteful is a seven mana, four four. Um, it says pull a minion out of your deck. Just pull basically a spell out of your deck randomly and summon a minion of its cost. So if you only have two ultimate infestations, you're always going to pull a 10 mana minion, which right now is an 8 8 or higher. Like okay. Tyrantis, which is a 12. Is there any 10 mana creatures that you don't want to get right now? No. Because at one point, getting a 10. The weakest 10 mana you get right now is an 8 8. Pretty good. Yeah. Before you could get like some pooper dupers, but now you get some pretty good stuff. Don't explain the joke, but how will people know it's funny if you don't explain it? Right, Rob? He killed a Doomsayer on he turn did. three. That's pretty good. See, that's Hellfire on four, upgrade Spellstone, clear board, augers. Ooh, Spellstone. Is that the one that... Oh, what's the... So each class card? gets a Spellstone. And that's the one that gives them a, uh, the demon, all the time, right? No, that's the weapon. The, the Spellstone is a four mana, originally deal three, heal three. When you upgrade, it deals five, heals five. Upgrade it again, deal seven, heals five. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So we have a cube block versus a... Uh, Spiteful Druid. Normally, this went to the Spiteful Druid, um, if I can remember correctly, because the Spiteful just puts on a lot of pressure, and the Q block doesn't have a ton of removal, and he doesn't have the weapon. So, yeah, gotcha. without the weapon, he's not going to be able to summon uh, free demons. Did Rogue get a spellstone? Yes. Okay, that's what the type of work. What is the Rogue spellstone? It was a um, destroying enemy minion. Okay. Ooh. Yo, Deku with the sub for 12 months. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Calling out of the stream. Deku, you were, you've been great in My Hero Academia. Thank <laughs> you for the entertainment value. My Hero's been so good, too. Yeah, 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 definitely. My Hero Academia. Where's that? Did you watch the episode yesterday? No, I, I need to catch up. Uh, if I catch up, I mean watch the last episode. Oh, that came okay, out. okay. I didn't know how far behind you were. No, I'm pretty... I, I watch it, like, basically every it's good. Yeah. There's a there's a new uh, waifu. Ooh. She another another crazy you, know, you know Toga the crazy bitch who's part of the um, League of Villains. Oh yeah, the one that wants to in, like insert needles. Inject. Yeah. Deck, yeah. There's another crazy chick. Is she also a bad guy. No. Nah, uh, oh. She's she's in the the tournament. The, oh. Okay. The, the the competition. Cool. The exam, I guess. Um. Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. Mad creepy. Cool. Oh my god, my hero academia is so good. Yes, it is. Spellbreaker really onto that two two is looking hella fine right now. What does that two two do when it dies? Summon a random demon from your deck. random demon. Oh, so it's ouch. either gonna be a de void daddy or it's gonna be a doom guard. Void daddy, pretty good. Void or free doom guard is also pretty good. Yeah, definitely gonna see a silence there to try to mitigate it. But little does uh, the Allen know that Machomp Champ has uh, another lackey Machoke. and a uh, dark pact in his hand, which is gonna basically. The lackey, the two, like the the six mana two two death rattle summon a random demon, but the dark pack kills your own mi minion, mm. so it's gonna use the death rattle right away and it heals you for four. Gotcha. And dark oh, pack was actually nerfed. Defile. That's such a well. It's a, such a coolly like designed uh, spell. I, I enjoy it a lot. It's when it goes off. And it's it a high kill cap, a high skill cap spell to use. Right, because you have to set up the board to where it's gonna be the most effective, and um. Did you ever see that video? It was on the Hearthstone subreddit. It was like, I forget who it was, but he played it and then he had music going on. He just started dancing as it just obliterated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I was, it was I dancing was cool. to Epic Sax, guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he pulled out a Void Daddy. He did the exact play that was like lining up that he wanted to do right. the previous play, but he couldn't get it done because of the silence. But little does he know, he has another silence in his hand. Nice. <laughs> He's actually saving the Gluttonous Suze for uh, the weapon if the Q block ever draws it. So, Alan does have an answer for that. We have UI coming out on turn 10, but the, the Grand Archivist here is basically like being able to play UI on 8 because it plays a spell from his deck. Gotcha. So, right now, does he Spellbreaker the 3 8 and go face? And I, I think that's a pretty good play. No one expects a double Spellbreaker. <laughs> I mean, Never not this. Good. I mean, he knows he runs double Spellbreaker, but he doesn't 
assume he already has both of them. Right. It's crazy because like most people you were running as except except Iron Beak, people were running two of Iron Beak pretty often. Yeah, I, I still hate the card because it was nerfed. It's a three ma three mana two one. For one more mana, you can play Spellbreaker, get two more attack and two more health. Right. They made it unplayable, almost just about. Well, they basically made it so you can play it in odd decks, odd and even decks. Right. Right. It was what two mana two one before, right? Two mana two one silence. Before they nerfed it. Yes. Owl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. they couldn't make it. They, they, honestly, they should have made it a like a one like a one mana one one. One mana, one, one silence. One mana silence? Yeah. You don't think that would have been too lenient for play design? No. Putting in a one mana silence seems pretty rough. It gives everyone an Earth Shock. Not, not Earth, Earth Shock. Earth Shock isn't even played. Oh. Yeah. If Earth Shock isn't played and it's a spell that can deal damage. True. I mean, it's currently now played because of Shutter Shaman, but it's not. It was never. It's never seen a ton of play. So Defile into Mountain Giant and 8 8 are uh pretty tough yeah so basically the i'm actually gonna pause it here so we can talk about that last play which was kind of heads up um so what we saw was the silence on the void daddy right so then he used both his minions to trade into the silence void daddy and even though that looked really bad because if he hit face he was pushing a two-turn lethal he knows he's playing against a q block so what machamp could have done is cube the silence daddy and then kill his own cube with his spell stone make two more daddies that both are unsilenced and unaffected by the spell breaker uh and then alan has no way to get through two void daddies and then he plays blood rival gold dance summons another daddy and at that point three daddies is too much for any uh druid deck to deal with so basically what he did there was a preemptive measure against the cube which didn't really look correct at first but after you look at like what the deck does, he doesn't want to leave a daddy on the board. And the reason he silenced it was so it doesn't make the void walkers, which I'm not sure if that was right or not, because I would have rather him play the void walkers. So when he does play Gul'dan, it brings back void walkers instead of uh, doom guards and daddies. So I wasn't sure about the silence there, but the, the kill on the daddy was correct. Insightful. I mean, I'm just bringing to you what I've done. Seeing. Those leech strats, dude. Okay, so what are we looking at from the druid here? What is his best bet? <clears throat> Play Grand Archivist. In your turn, cast. A it sucks because he hasn't even drawn a Spiteful Summoner yet. Because now if he, if he Grand Archivist and it plays the UI from in his deck and he plays Spiteful Summoner, it's not going to play any spells. It's a, basically a 7 mana 4. And that's the problem with this deck. If you draw your Spitefuls, right? That's perfect. But if you don't draw your Spitefuls and you draw your two uh, ultimates, which is what's going to occur here, they're useless. There's the ultimate infestation. Still a free ultimate. A but free now ultimate. he's gonna it could use it on his own minions. He could use it on his face. How good is he? Oh, it picks random targets. Random me. target, it hits him in the face. Wow. It was a three to two to hit Allen. And he ripped it. My boy Machamp looking pretty rough right now. Shh, that hit was so big. Now he's forced to spell Oh, he's gonna Gul'dan bring back a daddy. I guess this is okay. I was looking at Spellstone, but I guess Gul'dan is way more life okay we made the trade there gonna have trouble getting through the void daddy oh yeah i mean at this point well actually eh, he has a void ripper it's gonna switch the attack and defense and having a three hp card pretty easy to get his void mm -hmm. ripper switch everything right so. even your own cards yeah. oh then he just trades the five five yeah okay then he still has to deal with the void daddies or the void walkers right it's a really tough spot so I see like a Void Ripper into like the Crypt Lord into like Serenite into the trade end of Daddy. We'll see if he does that play. That's what I see. Or he's gonna do like Void Ripper into Fungal. Yeah. So it's either Void Crypt Lord Serenite or uh, Void into Fungal. One of those two plays. Gotcha. I was trying to look at the. <laughs> I don't know about this. It's going to be weak to Hellfire if you play the Sarah Knight and then you go Void. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He has a Hellfire in his end. Stop it. Oh, he's not even going for the switch. He's just going for the straight up trade. I guess this is technically more power. Okay. Yeah. So my play, he's 4-1 would have been a 1-4. 
Yeah, I guess this is much more power. Right, Solid play for Balan. Hellfire's not looking very good. No, no, no. But I thought he was going to play the, the, the Void Ripper. So he was going to switch the, um, the Serenites mm. into uh, four threes instead of three fours. Gotcha. Uh, this was so a super see maybe a okay so he's, he's trying to he's trying to spot a defile play here let's see if you can catch one so we have a three and a four we basically just need a one and a two you lower something to okay so what how much does that do that's three that is three yeah so lower that to three And he also can Hellfire Defile, which is an option too. A Hellfire Defile is a full clear. Yeah. He might actually just Hellfire Defile because filing might take too much time to figure out the math. Right. So we might just see like the double, the trade with the voids and the hero power. Oh. Trade Hellfire? Nope. Trade Mountain Jump. Solid life, play. Life so he's zero. going, this is the more aggressive play. He's not going for the clear of the 7-4 or the 3-3. Three, three. He's just going, I'm going to make an 8-8. Eight, eight. You have two 1-3 taunts to get through, and I'm going to push face. Right. Very heads-up play from Machamp. Okay, so he's going to stall out, try to play the longer game. So the longer he runs out Druid, uh, who's favored in the late late? Gul'dan. Gul'dan. Yeah. Oh, because of... Cubes, three life, daddies. Three three that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that hero power is disgusting. Yeah. It's, three... a, six, it's a 6 HP swing. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah. Heal three. There's a card called Essence Scatter Magic, does the same thing. Deal three. Malfurion is also a really good DK. He can gain three armor or gain three attack, and he also summons um, two 1 5 taunts or uh, uh, two 1 2 uh, poisonous spiders. Okay, so, oh wow, deal three or gain. Or, okay, so three um, power or armor. That's interesting. Don't, don't most of the. Um... We're going to see the defile here. So we're going to see like the hero power down on the 7-4, Defile kills the 7-1, the 3-2, and then he's going to be able to either Hellfire and then go face if he wants to push like super aggressive, or we'll just see the 8-8 trade and do a 1-5. Does he Defile to clear those two? Oh yeah, he has to or he loses, he's only at 11 life. Oh, true, true. Oh yeah, that's a 7-1. Good point. <laughs> but the, the thing is, he, uh, the, uh, the druid's just gonna end up winning. His lethal in hand. Uh, Leroy. His void ripper. Uh, Leroy hero power. Because he's gonna turn the one two into a two one, two. putting just enough damage to be able to Leroy for seven and hero power for seven. three. Oh, that's right. Leroy was buffed. Yep. And then, okay. Wow. Yep. So wow. later, okay, I think. Wow. In the, yeah. And the Warlock actually had a Spellstone in his hand, so if he would have Spellstoned instead of cubing the 1-4, he wouldn't have lost. So basically what he did was get greedy with the Spellstone and the want to make two Giants. He, he, he had the cube. Um, when cube blocks have the cube in their hand and they don't get to use it to make max value, they start to get kind of jittery a little bit. Right, they get they the kinda, shakes. Yeah, they get the shakes. They're like, this cube, it needs to hit something pretty big. <laughs> and then like eventually they don't care about their life anymore. They just kind of look at the giant, they look at the doom guards, and they look at the void daddy, they're like, I need to put it on the right. car. From the side <laughs> of this dude looks like like Conor McGregor mixed with like Chris Hemsworth, Thor. Then you look like a mix of those two people. Yeah. Do you know I mean? Yeah, definitely. Like, I definitely... He's got that weird, real thin face that like Conor McGregor has, you know, the MMA guy. Yeah, I definitely see a, a lot of Thor in him. Yeah, I see a little bit of Thor. Less red Conor McGregor Thor. That was a nice win from the Druid there. Even one without the Spiteful. That was the, like, the deck is called Spiteful Druid. Didn't even play Spiteful. <laughs> Sick. Didn't even play the Spiteful card. So now, what, now uh, what are we looking at here? Um, that, that's Alan. <laughs> 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 well, what deck are we moving on to now? We have I, the Mage, right? Uh, I don't think anybody brought Mage. Someone brought mage. Saw oh, mage that was unbanned. Hey! Yeah, okay. So that looks like tempo mage against quest rogue. So I saw a post on Reddit. It said this is a this is actually a good turn one play. Turn one arcane missiles on nothing. What does that mean? Why why are people playing arcane missiles on turn one one with no targets besides face? Because I mean, it... what like how has the strategy of mage kind of um? I mean, things. I still don't think that's a right play. I mean, maybe depending on your hand. And is it opponent. just to push damage as much as possible? Yeah. Okay. Like, this deck, there's just so much damage in this deck now that, like, value doesn't matter because of the mage's um, legendary weapon, which says, at the end of your turn, draw three cards. 
What's that? What's that weapon called? Uh, Atiyash. Oh, okay. Oh, Atiyash is the the one from Kadgar. Or yes. Kadgar? Uh, Midi. Midi. All those damn mages <laughs> that have ruined the, the the town of Azeroth. Oh, we're playing Questro. Yeah. So right now, um, I honestly think the mage is super favored. I think quest is a cool kind of mechanic. Well, it depends. Added. The mage is favored, but if like let's say the rogue completes the quest, he has this call this card called vicious. Um, I think deal scale six high. damage to that creep. No, just deal six damage to it. So it takes off divine shield. He takes four. Oh, oh, the rest goes to face. Okay, okay. It's it's basically a three mana fireball. Pretty. Good. I mean, that was actually a free <laughs> fireball because yeah. he he had um. Wow, did oh, okay. Oh, I was okay. about to say, did all the missiles hit face? So the um the quest rogue here it has a card right there in his hand, a two mana one three charge or rush, and it's uh, called Vicious Scale Hide and it has life steal. So if he can complete the quest and make it a four four, he can start attacking with him, bounce it back to his hand, attack with it, and it has life steal. So he's gonna heal back up. Oh, one. Yeah. So it all depends on like basically can the rogue live long enough to complete the quest? And then if so, he already has scale hide. So gotcha. that's how he lives. But Mage is definitely, I think, favored in this because if they don't draw those cards, your deck just kills him. Like Rogue needs certain cards to win this. Mage, the, the deck is built to just do damage. Mm -hmm. Rob is Cadgar. I agree. I am not Cadgar. You are Cadgar. <laughs> this is a really Ako Taco. I, you know what I like to see if I was the Rogue right here? Just go Preparation Elven Minstrel. Come on. Prep ain't doing you anything with this hand right now. You need cards. How do you get those cards? Elven Minstrel. Prep Elven Minstrel. Looks you like, need to do it. You like know it feels good. Doing. It hurts a little bit, but get those cards in your hand. Start to get the ball rolling, dude. Before he runs behind. Two cards. Novice and... Wow, Novice and... Yeah, it's good. I mean, yeah. It turns into a four, uh, two mana 4-4 four, four draw card. You can't argue with that. No. Quest, Quest Rogue is always such an interesting. Fine. So he's gonna copy the uh, lifesteal minion. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Mage is getting kind of akotaku here. It's starting to lose the board a little bit. Um, but the rogue is uh, has sizable amount of healing so far. It's got the two uh, scale hives that can heal for two a turn. Mm -hmm. So the mage here, he doesn't know if he should like draw and frostbolt or he should just go with the life drinker. I personally like the life drinker right now. Because it's the most expensive card in your hand that's a minion that your opponent's going to have to trade into. What's the life in? Uh... It's a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. You heal 3, deal 3. Okay. So he's going to go with either the Arcane Intellect, Frostbolt. He could go with like the Frostbolt Explosive Runes. But what is Sinister Storm? 5 damage to... Uh, it's a 3 mana, just deal 5 damage randomly. So it's basically an uh, Arcane Missiles, but it costs 1 more, does 2 more. Does cost 1 more? Yeah, because Arcane it right, costs two more. Oh, okay. I was like, do they earth Arcane yeah. Missiles for some reason? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so he problem. actually ended up frost bolting the Scale Hide. Wow. And then played a... I'm not sure about that Scale Hide play, because it only does... So basically, by him frost bolting the Scale Hide, it basically said, I think this card's going to attack me three times. He has pushed a lot. Of yeah, yeah, it doesn't make sense, because if you would have frost bolted face, he'd be at seven. If he top decks Fireball, he wins. So like That's he like he frost bolted a one attack minion, so he would the opponent Machamp would have had to attack him three times to heal for three to do the amount of damage that Frostbolt would have done immediately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you're right. And Arcane Intellect he can draw on too. Yeah, so he can live a couple turns. Yeah, like like him healing for one a turn isn't a big deal, but you doing three damage is a big deal because right. he he literally be at seven right now. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Top deck into or he would be anyway. he would be at eleven. I'm sorry, he'd be at eleven. Yeah, because of the attack from. But he's still Cinder Storm. Like, he still has Life Drinker and Cinder Storm in hand. All he needs basically is one Fireball and he wins in two turns. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I didn't like that Frost Bolt at all there. Because if he would have played Life Drinker, the other opposing. The, the player would have had to kill Life Drinker, which would have traded the 1 3 into it anyway, so he only got a 1 healing from the card regardless. What is Rush? Uh, Rush is basically charges. You can attack anything, including your opponent's face. Rush is just minions. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, that's. I thought that was called charge. Gotcha. Rob blinked twice at the person next to you was holding you against your will. <laughs> <laughs> that was like four times. So that means that I'm mean? safe. Oh. I thought you were like double in trouble. I'm double downing, uh, double okay. trouble. So it looks like you cleared two minions and what? Cinderstorm was random. It just happened to kill yeah, those yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed those two and did 
the rest so technically he's base. pushing lethal arcane missiles is six life drinker is three that's nine if they all go face I yeah, i'm just saying face. technically ten it could it could possibly give him lethal <laughs> so rogue wants to play some creatures now to kind of mitigate that damage from arcane missiles well we'll rogue wants to out. basically zola this one three and try to make as many of them as possible to try to heal as much a bunch of cards uh, that's gonna reduce the damage jump from arcane missiles unless he's a god in the aqua page <laughs> unless you, you know i mean this is a, this is a great play against arcane missiles and center storm so right yeah much less reliable he knows now. he's not dead to a fireball ping so yeah the arcane missiles plan if he had not played a not been able to only maybe play one creature then he could have been able to do some decent amount of damage face possibly with the life drinker and double arcane missiles but now it's looking i don't think this is this is rough because if machamp depending on what he draws he can complete his quest next turn and start healing up because he has the shadow dancer which allows him to trade and he generates one one copies so he basically keeps trading the lifesteal minion into minion killing his lifesteal minion and playing another one and then he'll prep quest if he has if he draws prep you should 100 percent explosive runes. yeah another explosive rune pretty powerful <clears throat> so what would have been wrong with a play like sorcerer's apprentice sorcerer's apprentice double arcane missiles life drinker okay why why would he uh not do something um, unreliability I, I'm of not arcane sure. missiles he I'm not sure because if he if he played this girl right, he was obviously this girl basically gives him a free secret. It's a four mana two two generate like discover a secret. So if he plays her, he has to be looking. Which one for did a, he pick? Did he pick? I don't I don't know. Which one. I'm assuming so, I'm assuming explosive runes. But when you, you play her, so. you have a secret in mind, right? Mm -hmm. And it brought up a secret that I thought he'd wanted, and he took a really long time to pick it. So he's either juking out his juking out his opponent, making him look like oh I didn't get the one I want. I'm going to take a while, or which, he's trying to go for a different game plan. Or he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this tournament, he probably has some idea. But Machamp has that impressive five damage board state. His, his board looks a lot less scary. Or it looks a lot more scary than it is. Yeah, I mean, it looks like, for oh right my now. god, look at all these flaming golden cards coming at my face. You realize, you know what, that takes out, like, not even a fourth. So there's the Zola onto the Lifesteal minion. And then he even has a Shadow Step. So there's the explosive runes. He's taken That's, down to four. I mean, so right now he arcane this, missiles. Hope one. This is what face. I was talking. This is the play I was talking about. The shadow dancer into the life steal. Generate a one one of the one one. Play it again. Attack it again. Gain more life, and then he should be able to complete his quest um, this turn and or next turn. Which means basically, the mage needs to win right here, or the mage loses. Uh, I'm thinking. The mage Ooh. needs to win here, or it loses. It needs right. to do six damage right here. Top decks, fireball, game over. Oh, glyph into fireball, Pockers. Hmm. Or if he's really so good. now, what does he think? Does he play Arcane sorcerers? Arcane missiles, all face, life trick face. Well, that's a play. Or does he's right now? So he's like, do I go sorcerer's apprentice into glyph? And I don't think there's a single spell that would require you to sorcerer's apprentice first. So I think it's a hundred percent you glyph. Okay, he glyphs, reduces the spell by two. Fireball, game over. Oh my god. The god. And the god, the <laughs> god himself, Alan, with the three O against Machamp. Alex is right. Machoke is the correct name. 